Okay, so this is one of the new ROG Allies um, Z1 Extreme chips, and uh, it came with a like a 512 gig uh, 2230. You can see that that's kind of the shape there. But I found out online that you can buy these brackets, and it'll turn it 90 degrees, and there's just enough space, but you can get like a full 2280 in. So I'm going to take this uh, four terabyte MP600 here and throw it in and probably put the other drives just back in my server, just uh, utilize them. They're 512 gig, I'll, I'll find a purpose for them. Uh, anyways, this is a great unit to open up. It's just got six screws, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, this is the last one you pull out, it's captive, but it also helps uh, separate the casing. So I'm going to uh, pause the video, I'll open it up quick, and then show you the inside. Okay. So top came off really easy, no problem, those six screws, there's uh, at the bottom on the left and right, so the bottom screws here, I'll just flip the back around. Um, so this one and this one, just keep in mind, they're, they're extra long screws for support, so you gotta make sure they go back in the same spot, but really, this one's captive and the top three are all the same that way, it's not too bad. Um, so we've just got a protective shield here. So, like, there's a fair bit of room here between the cooling points. Like, more than I figured. I'm trying to find out ended up here. So we can zoom in and stuff. Okay, there we go. Okay. So that's the 2230 drive there. And I'm just going to back it out and then I'm basically just drop this guy in on top. And that's supposed to work. So, um,. They were saying that underneath a couple of those tabs might get in the way, so I might have to do something with those, but we'll put it in first and then see. So I'll pause it and uh, show you what it's like with the bracket in it. Okay, so this is the unit. I test fit it in there and it fit. It went in tight. It rubs right up against the battery here. Focusing right up against it, but it'll just slide in, locks in okay. It actually comes up on a slight angle, and then the downside is is the screw for the 2280 drops right down on this plastic for the battery where it comes in. Uh, honestly, it's not too bad, but you can see the gold pins down there. There is a layer of plastic protecting them, but it wouldn't take much if it got squeezed too hard or something that you might be able to push the bottom of that out because I it was metal on the bottom. So all I did was ran, uh, I think I've got three layers of like an electrical tape on the bottom just as an insulator when I put it in, just to help make sure nothing shorts out there. So I'll, I'll install it and see how it goes. So this is what I mean by a tight install here. I don't know if you can see, but it's literally rubbing on the battery as you push it in. And it's uh, kind of like just stressing that angle, but if you're gentle, you can get it. And then the shot of like where the battery ends up landing like this. So I'll push it all the way in and then show you here. So nice and gentle. Come on. There we go. Okay. Down in spot. Hole lines up good there. And kind of see where that landed. Like technically it's off the connections, but you know what, I'm going to run a little bit of electrical tape anyways. Nobody's really going to be looking in there and seeing it. Okay. So, it's in, screwing in down below there, you just can't really see it from there. It comes across really nice and it sits, sits quite well on it. it. Made me nervous just with that one spot, like, eh, it's probably okay, but I don't like probably. So I'm just going to add that insulation. So I think we're okay. I'm going to put that heat piece back in. Um, I'll probably end up throwing this two terabyte back in here. And actually, I think I've got another 512 as well. So I might throw both of them into the uh, NVMe rate card. Uh, yeah, so I'll put it back together. We'll see how the rest of it goes here. Okay. So in... Um, Putting that uh, SSD in, I did have to uh, clip three locations. So I clipped this guy here off, and then this guy 
ended up sticking down a little bit right here too. So I just clipped him down, didn't take too much. And then there was another point just sitting right there. This guy seems to be okay. He's just out of the way enough of where that SSD sits, but the SSD just runs right along that edge. So we did have to clip that out. Now, I'm gonna try and put this heat shielding back in. I'm tempted to, or it would be nice to be able to maybe try and keep that heat guard out of the way. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've got the ally back together. One of the things that's warned about people who've done it before is after you get it back together you can hold that power button and it's not going to turn on and uh, one guy told me he was kind of freaking out he took it apart again but actually what you have to do is you have to plug the ally in to power and then it will turn on so it's up and running now I have to figure out how to get into the BIOS and do the um, install so we'll, we'll see how this goes here see what happens I haven't uh, had to do this necessarily yet but we're in serial number looks pretty good storage so Y for advanced mode This is cloud recovery, I'm going to say it's probably it. Okay, view the policy. 20 years old. Cloud recovery. So I think um, I'm just going to run through this process now, and it should actually wipe the drive and reinstall the operating system. Next. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so i got to put in my password and stuff here. Um, but I'll let, I'll talk to you on the other side. Okay. Got them in. Went okay. These are proprietary. I'm glad I still had them. They only work kind of with the system. Uh, cloud recovery is working. It's taking a little bit, but it looks like it's starting to install Windows and stuff. Just wiped the card, everything else. So I think everything's going. We'll uh, probably do another video once it's back up. In the meantime, I'm going to put this into Aurora. So I just got my uh, zoom out a bit here. So 3080 Ti and just left the power connected to it and I just set it down out of the way. Let's see it locks in there. You can see I have all these other cards. It just uh, slips on the top there. Okay. So server's back up. Card's back in. Uh, it's back in there. Yeah, so recovery's taking a while. Uh, definitely wouldn't take this long to install Windows on my laptop, so we'll see. Okay, so drives in, partitioned. I have Windows on it and stuff. It's running. Got it hooked up to this dock here. Display port out. Um, just really good USB-C cable connecting in, and it's a 60 watt, I believe, power supply going in, charging it, and I've got gigabit ethernet there as well. So, just, I've got it up on the screen right now. So, uh, installing games and stuff like that from Steam, but it's actually transferring right now from uh, the server. And we're also installing at the same time as well. So, this is going down over, uh, over the internet, of course. So, Got them both going. Just kind of see where the stats are. We're running about four gigahertz, somewhere in there. Um, the memory I've got 16 gigs. I'm running right now six to the video. I, I might have to drop that down to five. That's what they recommended, and then it leaves you like ten and a half or somewhere in there for games. But kind of play back and forth and see. Uh, but it's pulling, installing really well. Everything seems to be going okay. So pretty happy with it so far. I'll install some games and see what happens. So, yeah, 
yeah, just uh, it's the same drive. I just ended up splitting off like uh, 256 gigs for the operating system, you know, just a few main programs, stuff like that, and then all my games and stuff I'm going to put on this side and just organize them out properly here. So, yeah, make everything work. So, got my ally here. Um, it's just follow-up video now. I've been gaming on it for a bit. Uh, the 2280, the four terabyte 2280 that I have in there right now is running a little bit warm when I'm gaming. One of the reasons why is, is uh, it goes over the heat pipe. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna pull the back off. I've just backed uh, the screws off here. So I'm gonna pause it, pull the back off. We're gonna take a look, see if I can maybe make this black carbon paper fit between the heat pipe and the NVMe drive. And then that way there's like a bit of a heat shield between the two, see if I can drop my temperatures. Cause right now, like I'm hitting like 73 Celsius and I'd love to have that if possible down in the fifties. Cause NAND really doesn't like, really doesn't like heat. Uh, temperatures it's at right now it's like guaranteed you're gonna have a failure at some point okay so I've got the back cover off right now this is that um, I'm not sure if it's plastic or maybe it's just plastic I was calling it carbon paper but now that I'm feeling it it feels more like plastic um, but what you can see is I've got that that heat pipe there so I'm gonna pull, pull it off the heat pipe for a sec so what we've got is this is um, or SOC or um, uh, the CPU GPU combination under there and um, it's got a heat spreader with a pipe that runs out onto both fan locations and then what originally was up is this was the, this is the connection for the NVMe drive and you normally just have a 2230 in there it only comes down so far to about there uh, where you can on the right angle let's see if I can zoom in there we go so you can see where the screw is in that piece but you buy this green 90 degree adapter and it allows you to put in a full 2280 um, so I've done that it's just it's close to the heat pipe and I think that my NAND is uh, getting a little bit too warm for that so I want to pull up the adapter I'm going to pull out the adapter and then I'm going to see if I can run the paper I'm going to try and cut the paper around this and have it lay down um, underneath of the NVMe creating uh, a bit of a difference in variation there so it looks like right where the fans draw air in you're, you're gonna have some air come in I'm hoping with one side being significantly better ventilated than the other that it creates a bit of a cross breeze across the NVMe drive cooling it um, it has a sticker on it right now I know in general they say these stickers don't actually affect cooling too much I'm, I'm tempted to almost pull that off uh, one thing I tend to do is I modify stuff and, and change things which would technically void warranty in many ways. So you got to keep that in mind when you're watching my videos. Like I had to cut those pieces out of the bottom of this. Um, and I'm, I'm sure if they detect that, then who knows, they, they could potentially void it for something like that, right? But uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up the NVMe drive, pull out that bracket and stuff. And then I'm going to see if I can modify that carbon paper to, to create a barrier between the two. And then I'll... Um, I'll show you what it looks like after that. Okay. So I made a bit of a modification to it. Um, and this is just plastic by the looks of it. What I've done is I've put a bit of a slice through it. Just, you know, a couple mils or whatever. Um, deep enough and wide enough to take the card. But giving me a spot to slide the bracket up into. Uh, the hole was already actually cut for the NVMe. So initially it's interesting that they cut that because I didn't cut that. Um, it's almost like it was meant to originally shield it. It just wasn't quite done properly or something. The other thing I had to do in order to tuck it under so it would fit in the NVMe area. I'm actually going to go to a different camera lens here. Okay. So I had to nip this side of the unit off. So you can see it kind of meant to wrap around the fan like that. I nipped it just so it was out of the way there. Don't want to mess with those cables, right? Um, so now I should be able to put the bracket back in and I'm going to see how the bracket fits, make sure I like how, um, how it looks and stuff. And if, uh, if it's good, I'll, um, do another video, show you guys how it, how it is. Okay. So in, in my first videos, I ended up wrapping that because I was a little bit worried about it contacting the points on the battery and in like hindsight and just modifying that and cutting the slot so that I can drop into the M2. Not only does it create a great heat shield, it also protects you against that contact point. So, um, in hindsight, like it, 
this is a nice mod to do. I think it is going to help. I'm, I'm excited to see what the temperatures are going to be. It's just interesting that it wasn't designed like that initially. Okay, so I uh, put my MP600 back in. Um, just, just pulled the, uh, the cover off, right? So I, I was just thinking, you know, uh, I don't think that that is offering any sort of thermal um, help for like removing heat. I think if anything, it's creating an, insula an insulating layer. So I've removed it. Um, now I should have a slight air gap between my NVMe and the cover here because even if like even if that board at the bottom is touching it should push it down enough give it a little bit better airflow but now for any of the cross breeze that's happening from um, just like when you put it on this is a significantly better vent than than the logo logo looks good and stuff but it, it's not going to be great ventilation it's going to end up suffocating the side I think that's why you see so much um, like fan control between the two different ones they're not always set the same but either way this is great ventilation through here and the ventilation even comes um, like that that ventilation and it's going to be great through here I think it even comes to roughly into some of the NAND and the controller itself, the Fizing controller, right? So anyways, I'm hoping for a cross breeze across it. And that cross breeze should help drop the temperature on my NVMe drive. Um, so I'm excited. I'll, I'll plug it in, boot it all up. We'll, I'll, I'll start running some games and then do a bit of a follow-up video. I'll splice in towards the end of this too. Let you guys know if it helped temperature-wise and um, just, just what my thoughts are on it. But uh, I, I do believe that it, it's going to be successful. Um, my only disclaimer is, is like the stuff that I just did most likely voids your warranty. So um, keep that in mind.